Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday Morning Devotion. As we have entered the third week of Advent, let us begin with a word of prayer. God of hope, God of peace, and God of joy, teach us to know the way we travel in the season of Advent. Surely, God, it's our salvation. We trust and not be afraid, for the Lord is our strength and the light for our path. God is with us as we rejoice always, reflecting on the light that we have earned and the light that God's Son, Jesus Christ, brings to us in our darkness. And so we rejoice once again during the season, and we ask the power of the Holy Spirit to guide us in this devotion this morning. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so as I said, <clears throat> before you gather around, put your lights on, put your candle on. It could be fresh candle or it could be a battery operated one. So far as you have that light to help us during this devotion time. Advent season has reminded us we need a light to travel in this dark moment. We need a light of hope that we just have here and peace, and then the joy, light that we just lit last Sunday. Into our presence, this light has come to help us to travel. And so as we think about these lights, we also want to think about the shepherds who brought joy to many others as they received the joyous news of Jesus Christ's birth. And with that, I want us to think for a moment about an image of a shepherd, that we see one of them among the nativity scene. A shepherd holding on tight to a sheep, protecting and making sure that sheep is cared for. And that is what we are reminded when Jesus Christ comes as a shepherd to see us all. And so with this, let's travel with a passage from Luke chapter 2, verse 8 through 14. Hearing the good news that the shepherd received. And so I read Luke chapter 2, verse 8 through 14. There, there were some shepherds in, the, in that part of the country who were shepherding the nights in the field, taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terrified, afraid, but the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I'm here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all people. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes laying in a manger. Suddenly, great army of heaven's angels appear with angels singing praises to God, glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so here, the shepherds have received news. They didn't receive news from any other people but the angel that descended upon them on that cold night as they care and comfort and find food in the night and to protect the sheep the sheep that they were caring for where were these why were these shepherds chosen to be given the good news were they special people that had been selected to receive such greetings from the angels it is incredible, special good news that the Lord Jesus Christ is born and they are to go and let others know about the good news. Perhaps in the beginning they were afraid just like everybody else. They were not expecting these special guests, but they came. And here is the good news that they receive. A Savior is born on this day 
in the city of David. You must go and look for him. He will be in a, sheep, in a sheep's den, wrapped in swaddling clothes. So imagine the joy that comes after being afraid for the visit that they were not looking forward to. So imagine you are sitting somewhere minding your own business and all of a sudden somebody appears to you and tells you this news. First, you will be afraid and you will be wondering, what am I to do with this? You become frightening and say, why must I receive such news? Well, unlike the shepherds, they didn't wonder even though they were afraid. They were respected among the community, so it was okay for them to go out there and share that good news. They took care of the sheep that they have been doing all their lives. You see, shepherds then were part of Jesus' family. So it's no surprisingly that the angels goes to them first. Jesus' family tree can go back to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, Jacob's sons, Moses, and then David. Shepherd's lifestyle was simple and caring. While making sure the sheep were cared for in the field, they also protected them from dangers. Yet, there were other ones that God could have revealed this message to. There were prominent people, rich people in the community that may have been able to receive such great news of great joy. But God chose the simple shepherds so that the angels could have conversation with. So imagine for yourself for a moment that you are a simple person, an ordinary person, just like the shepherds that have been chosen to go and deliver the good news. What will you do? Will you go with joy or will you go with fear and trembling? That is for us to think about as we prepare to enter into that week, the last week of Advent into Christmas. Think about the shepherds that they are not talked much about. All we hear is that they were visited. But for a moment, when you think about a shepherd, think that they are the first to receive the wonderful news, the good news of Christ's birth, and they shared, they didn't keep it. Let us imagine ourselves sitting in a field, being called and being given and revealed messages of good news to us. We are to carry the message to the places where people who hear it. We are not supposed to keep it. We are to share that good news. And so let this light of good news, of great joy, help us to rejoice even the times that we are in, preparing ourselves for the coming of Jesus Christ, the good shepherd who will come and bestow blessings upon us. And so as you reflect on these shepherds, Prepare your minds and hearts and rejoice, not just with Mary, but the shepherds on the field on this cold winter night. We will look forward into continue this Advent season next week when we light the last candle before Christ's candle. Once again, enjoy the season with rejoicing and gracious of the Lord be upon you this day and always. Amen.